this incredible woman, the amazing Lindsay Dennison, is a hypnotherapist and an energy healer with a personal interest in health and fitness. She's on a mission to guide people on how to get back in control of all areas of their lives through hypnosis, energy work, and well-being support. We've got some Lil Mix. These wings were made to fly. <laughs> Amazing. Let's get our incredible Lindsay onto the stage. These wings were made to fly. <laughs> Jean McDonald, I thought you might like that song as well. Uh, uh, come up on stage, Lindsay. Uh, oh. Lindsay, I, where are you joining us from today? From Leeds, where you're from, Sammy. Yay! Yay, yay, yay. I love it. <laughs> I love it. That's where I built five of my I businesses. I might bring out some Yorkshire in you. Oh, yes. <laughs> well, I was up in Manchester the other day and I started to feel my accent really come back. So there you go. You can get the lead. I love the Leeds yeah. accent. Lindsay, we met, uh, when was it? At the end of last year, I think I was speaking at an event and I met you there and you really stood out and you might not think that you did, but you really did. You have a, a magical essence about you that is obviously making big ripples in the lives of the people that you touch it's why I keep re reaching out to you and saying come on because you've got something that is so special for the world share with everybody here uh, what you're working on right now so I've um, dabbled in all sorts of alternative therapies um, but I think the one that I find I get most results from is hypnotherapy with my interest in health and fitness, call it vain or, or call it wanting. I say I, I want to be able to put my own knickers on when I'm 80 years old and not not have to rely on my children and, you know, have a bit of dignity. So I just with my own interest in it, I want to help people, um, especially women who neglect their own needs um, and gain back control in their lives and gain back control with food. Yeah, and that's a big area, especially after uh, lockdown. I think I read something on Facebook a few days ago that um, the average person gained up to 42 pounds in weight over the last two years, which is massive. It's so significant. Um, and Lindsay, that's an area that you've chosen to really focus and specialise because it's an area that you can also see the results as well, can't you? You can really see the change you're making. Now, um, Lindsay, I really want to highlight something that you said to me, and I can't remember if you said it to me on Messenger or how you said it to me, but it was when you were working on your branding and thinking about the name of how you were going to call uh, this new program that you're developing, um, you know, something that really resonates with people. But one of the things that you said was, you know, I've got a really um, you know, a fun sense of humor. Can I bring that into my brand? And I said, oh my gosh, yes. Because not enough people actually bring the essence of themselves into their business. And uh, you have quite a sense of humor, don't you? Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and I think when I was thinking about what, what I was going to say today, I think I lost a lot of that doing the journey through getting a business up and running I did I, I did lost a lot I lost a lot and I lost a lot of um I think what Alexandra was talking about before I stopped listening to my intuition so I lost a lot of my human I lost a lot of listening to myself my intuition and listening to messages up there um so yeah that's definitely one of the things that um I definitely want to bring in and that that's something that I do bring in on the one-to-one -one sessions that I do with people because life's too short it is it is too short and, uh, and and I just love that you you found yourself again I I can totally resonate with that how many of you um you can't do your show of hands because people can't see you on the other side of it but in the chat how many of you have ever done something unconsciously or consciously to fit in you did it either to fit in or, um, you know, Sue mentioned it as well. You know, it's, um, you know, the paradigm of how people condition us. Um, so, Lindsay, what I love about what you just said is 
that you realized and recognized that you were actually in the process of building your business, becoming someone totally different. Yeah. You, you weren't yourself. How did you navigate back to being you? How did, what was that process? Talk us through it. Um, I, I did notice it and I, I did notice that I was just concentrating. I, I was, well, I was not, I wasn't listening to myself properly. I was listening to that, that negative little um, person in my head rather than um, relying on my, my feelings and, and, and what I knew with myself in my gut um because I'm also a bit clair um, sentient and clair cognizant um so I know where I'm going but had that little monster on my shoulder thinking you can't do that you're you're this and, and I just I just repeatedly now have to have a word with myself <laughs> sort yourself out have a word with yourself right <laughs> this is where I'm going so just yeah in good old Yorkshire style it's sort yourself <laughs> out we've not got time for this love it absolutely love it and so Lindsay who would you say has been your biggest role model as you've kind of grown up and and then as you've taken this journey in your business who have your role models been you of course um I think why I connected with you especially on that um empowerment weekend was the connection with um being a spiritual being and wanting to bring that into your work and into your business um, and, and I just felt a, an instant connection with you and felt that it was um, as well an honest, genuine connection. Um, and I've got to say my partner because he is behind me 150% and believes in me even when I don't believe in myself. That's gorgeous, isn't it? Because not everybody has that partner to back them up. Um, you know, we've had some ripple makers and brand builders over time who have gone on to build extraordinary movements, but have had to give ultimatums to their partners about, you know, situations that the partner is creating to kind of diminish that person's success. And, you know, we we ramp up and we we get inspired here and then then you've got to go home again and you've got to face the people there. And if you don't have that support at home, you know, so for those of you that don't have anyone there sometimes it can be better to have nobody there than somebody who's negatively impacting on your business and where you're going um Lindsay what would you say has most surprised you about yourself over this last couple of weeks really I mean you you dived into ripple fest you you put your toe in the water a couple of times and last time you just went for it and you created this phenomenal program what was what surprised you the most about yourself um I think that knowing that you do actually hold all the answers and again it, it reverts back to that not listening to yourself so when we did some of the daily meditations um afterwards I was just like oh right I'll do this and I'll do that and I'll do this. And I, and I had all the answers within me and it's just giving yourself that time and allowing yourself that time to, for, for that all to come out. Um, but obviously I, I, I needed you to get me back on track. <laughs> um, but yeah, knowing that all the answers are inside you all along. I love that. That's such a good answer. And it's what Alexandra talks about. It's what, you know, we totally believe it. You've got it all inside you. You don't need to go and get healed. You do, you know, you are perfectly imperfect, right? And that's what your audience want, by the way. They do want a human. They want a human being. <laughs> they don't want to do business with a robot. Lindsay, I love what you're doing. I can't wait to see what unfolds with you next. Thank you so much for being with us in this short 10 minutes. Guys and girls, give it up for the amazing Lindsay Dennison. We will be watching this space as you go and create this massive ripple of impact in the world.